In this video, using a group cardio wrap, we'll be discussing an approach to listening to the four heart sounds that may be heard in the horse, and also working out how to understand findings such as systolic and diastolic murmurs. Do you remember that you can hear up to four heart sounds in a horse, okay? So there's S4, S1, S2, and S3. And that sounds quite complicated, so I cut it down first of all to S1 and S2, which is lub dub. So what causes S1? Yeah, so the AV valve's closing, okay? And that's at the onset of systole, so that's lub, and you have systole, dub. And what is dub? Yeah, the semilunar valve, so the aortic and the pulmonary valve's closing, all right? But then between S2 and S1, okay, here, we have diastole, don't we? Okay, so the heart is relaxing and filling up, all right? So we have two other sounds that we need to think about, okay? Just before S1, we have S4, okay? So just before systole, what happens? Is that the gallop? No, no, no. It's to do with the last bit of ventricular filling, okay? The atria are squeezing and doing atrial contraction, okay? So for the purposes of that, we will call that B, okay? So that will be B lub dub. Okay, then S3 is in diastole, relaxation of the heart, and the end of rapid ventricular filling, you get a little D, all right? And that is to do with ventricular filling, all right? So I want you to do this with me. So it'll be B, lub, dub, D, all right? B, lub, dub, D, 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 B, lub, dub, D. Blub dub dub. Keep going. Good. Excellent. Right. Now let's get rid of the b and the d. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Now let's get rid of b and d, and we'll just go back to lub dub. All right. Do you understand the concept of a murmur? And a murmur is caused by turbulent flow. So it could be a problem with the valve. It could be a defect. A, a narrow vessel is pretty unusual in the horse, you can get it, but it's turbulent. So what do you think turbulent sounds like? It's like a whoosh. So for the purposes of today, we will do it as shh, okay? All right, and you can get systolic or diastolic murmurs depending on where it is. Is it between S1 and S2 or is it between S2 and S1, okay? So I want you to do this with me. Lub dub, lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. Keep going. Now put in a systolic murmur. Lub dub. Good. Lub dub. Lub dub. Keep going. A few more times till it goes in. Lub dub. Lub dub. Now make it diastolic. Lub dub sh. Lub dub sh. This is the funky one. Good. Lub dub sh. 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 Excellent. Okay, that's it, you've got it cracked, good. Now that sounds quite a simplistic way of doing it, but believe you me, if you think about those sounds and think about where in the heart cycle is the murmur, that will really help you learn about it, okay? And then you work out where it's loudest on the left or the right from there, okay? Are you happy? Carry on, good.